In this video, I'll show you how to record your laptop screen using a free screen recorder. I'll show you how to do three things. Record your whole screen, record just an application, or record a browser tab with tab audio. Let's get started. To record, I'll be using a browser extension called Clip. Now, Clip is a free extension that lets you make up to one hour screen recordings. And this is uh, an extension that's available for both Chrome and Edge. So it works on pretty much any operating system. So the advantage of using a browser extension is number one, it's uh, very lightweight, very easy to install, takes literally a second, and very quick to launch as well for every recording that you make. And second is it allows you to make a particular kind of recording, which is very useful. And I'll show you this uh, this kind of recording in a minute. So first let's install the, uh, the Clip extension to our browser. And I'm on the uh, Chrome Web Store page, uh, which is also a link that I've included in the description below. Now let's add it to our browser. And it takes a second to install. And once you do that, you'll have to create an account, uh, which is again, very easy to set up. And once you have your account and once you have the extension installed, you're good to go. Now, when you install the extension and actually the extension icon is hidden underneath this jigsaw puzzle icon you see here. So uh, you need to click it and then pin the icon to your toolbar. So it's easy to access from outside. Otherwise, every time you need to access it, you shouldn't have to click on one and like you don't have to go down that one level. You can just bring the icon out. So it's easy to operate. Uh, every every time you want to make a recording. Start, let's click on the icon. And this gives us the menu. Uh, you have several options for recording. You've got screen, tab, and camera only. I'll only be talking about screen for this segment. Um, and along with screen, I want to record a voiceover. So I can enable mic for that. And when you do that, when you switch on the mic, it asks you for permission to record your microphone. I click allow. If you want camera, you can click that too. And then you need to click allow. And then you have a camera that appears. Um, there's an extra authorization that's needed and I'm gonna click on that. So now we are set up. It's we are recording a voiceover as well as, well as camera along with the screen. Okay, so let's begin recording. Click on record and you get this additional dialog here. You need to select entire screen. Just click into this and then let's share it. So right now we are recording the screen with the voiceover and camera and everything on my laptop is essentially being recorded into a video. And once I'm done recording, I can just click the same icon again, and this will stop recording. Now videos made using Clip are uploaded online. So you get a link to your video as soon as you're done recording. And you can share the link with others or you can just view it and download the video if you want. So in a few seconds, uh, yeah, we have the video ready to preview. Um, we can just play it to make sure it's recorded what we wanted. So as you can see, I'm gonna maximize this video to show you what all is in here. So as I said, this is gonna be a whole screen recording. So you have not just the browser, but you also have the uh, the toolbar on the bottom. So everything that you see on your screen is gonna be captured here. So if you're going to make a whole screen recording, you want to make sure that it's free of clutter. So you have any applications that are open that you don't want to be visible in the recording. Uh, you want to make sure to clear those things up before you actually start. So this is the first kind of recording you can make, which is a whole screen recording. Now let's move on to the second kind of recording you can make. Let's go back here to this other tab where I launched the recording. Uh, you can also record just an application. So here I have uh, Microsoft Excel open and I want to make a recording of just this Excel window, right? So I don't want uh, the rest of my laptop screen to appear in the video. I just want this. So here's how you do it. Click on the icon again, click on screen. And in this case, I just want the voiceover. I don't want the camera. Um, so I'll click on record. And once you do this, you want the, the Excel window should show up here. So to do that, you need to make sure that Excel is open. Uh, the Excel window should not be maximized. It should just be a uh, like in a non-maximized state. And let's go back to that window, choose what to share. And here you go, in, inside of window. So you have two tabs here. You've got entire screen and you've got window. And as long as your Excel window is not maximized, you, it's going to show up here. This is one thing that trips people up a lot uh, where they don't find the application they want to record in, in this uh, option menu here, but then uh, here we do see it because the Excel one is not maximized. Okay, let's go back to the uh, selection screen, click on the Excel window and then click share. So after the countdown, you're gonna have recording. And then, um, so everything I do inside of this window, inside of Excel is going to be recorded in a video. Um, anything I do outside of the window is not going to be recorded in the video. So let's see, I'm just gonna click through things here. Um, and again, now once I'm I'm done recording this, uh, I can just go back to the browser and then click on the same icon. And this is going to again, save a new video with just the Excel recording uh, online. So, so this is the video preview of what I just made. And 
it's going to show exactly what, what we recorded, which is only the Excel window. So everything you did with an Excel is going to be recorded along with the voice that we were recording. So this is the second kind of video you can make, which is just an application window. Now the third window recording. So this is, so when I said that browser extensions allow you to uh, make a special kind of recording, I was talking about the browser extension recording, actually, sorry, the, uh, the browser tab recording. So for instance, if I've got a browser tab here and I want to record just this tab and nothing else, right? Nothing, nothing else from the browser, nothing from my laptop. So there is a, a mode of recording that lets you do that. So for that, I go back here and then I click the icon the back to screen, but now we're doing a browser tab recording. So let's click on tab. So we're going to enable mic because uh, I want to voice over. Now, if you have a tab uh, audio playing in the tab, let's say maybe there's an online video playing in the tab. Um, so then you can just enable that as well. Uh, so this records both the voiceover through the microphone as well as any audio that's playing in the tab. And it requires a very high quality version of the tab audio if you, if you use this mode. Now let's go back to uh, the other thing to keep in mind is if you're recording a tab, you need to launch the uh, the recording from within the tab. So now that I'm on the Google Slides tab, you can, you can I'm closing it, but you can reopen it. Just click on the icon again and I've selected the tab option, record tab with microphone, tab audio. And now we can begin recording. And you know this is recording when you see this icon here. You see this flashing uh, screen here, or now it's uh, stabilized. But once you see a blue icon here, that means this tab is being recorded. So everything you do within this tab is going to be recorded. It's going to be a very clean version of just this browser tab and nothing else. So it's a great way to, again, create a very clutter-free recording. So yeah, once I'm done recording, just click on the same uh, extension icon here. It takes a few moments to upload the video. So it's saved online and I can preview this video. So let's open full screen. And as you can see, this is exactly the contents of the browser tab and nothing else. You don't see the browser, you see nothing else. So this is again, a very clean way of recording uh, just the browser tab and any tab uh, audio that's playing as well. Uh, there's a few things you can do once you're on the video uh, page, you can copy the link, which is going to copy the URL for this video and you can share it with other people you want if you want. Um, you can also click on download and then click download the video file through this. So I showed you how to make three different kinds of screen recordings, how to make a recording for your whole screen of just an application or of just a browser tab, perhaps with browser audio. Now, when you want to make your next screen recording, just spend a moment thinking about which of these three kinds of recordings do you want to make. And the thing about best screen recordings is that they're minimalistic, right? They only show the viewer exactly what you want them to see. So it focuses their attention as well as minimizes the amount of information they need to absorb, thus making it easy and for people to like your video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video.